Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gamer here. I've decided to take the time to do a quick experiment to see just how much of a performance benefit you get from overclocking your CPU. Now, looking around, I found that most CPUs will ship at a minimum of three gigahertz. Some of the more modern CPUs come up about 3.5 to 4 gigahertz. So what I've done is I've made my 5960X run at three gigahertz at its stock and I've also overclocked it to 4.5 gigahertz just to see just how much of a difference this would make in performance in some games now um, I have to say all games are going to be tested at 1080p for the sole reason of making things more CPU bound as you know the higher the resolution the less the CPU is important so quickly go through my specs NVIDIA GTX 1080 Founders Edition with drivers 368.81 with an overclock of 200 megahertz on the core and 496 megahertz on the memory. Uh, Intel i7 5960X overclocked from 3 gigahertz to 4.5 gigahertz. This is all on a X99A Gaming 7 from MSI, and I'm using 32 gigabytes of DDR4 running at 2666 megahertz. So that is it for the specs. I'm going to be testing five games. That will be Battlefield 1. Grand Theft Auto 5, The Witcher 3, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Crisis 3. So as you can see guys, Battlefield 1 benefiting quite a bit from the 4.5 GHz overclock. Now this is a combination of having a faster clock speed which helps eliminate the bottleneck on a fast GPU like the GTX 1080 as well as driving the game a bit faster. As you can see an increase of 25 frames per second on average and on the minimum so um, a good increase all around. Grand Theft Auto 5 definitely one of the more CPU demanding games out there and you can see an increase of 16 frames per second on the average frames and the minimum increase from 12 frames per second as well again GTX 1080 is suffering from a bottleneck because the Intel i7-5960X at 3 gigahertz just can't keep up so this kind of makes me wonder with the GPUs getting faster and faster um, the next enthusiast class graphics cards are really gonna push every single CPU out there if you're playing at 1080p. Hopefully us guys that play at higher resolutions won't have to worry too much.
that even you would test me. The Witcher 3 not showing a great deal of variance from the clock speeds from 3 GHz all the way up to 4.5. As you can see we only gained an average of 3 frames per second and on the minimums we gained 7 frames so not too much of an increase there. Looking at Rise of the Tomb Raider, not too much of an increase in performance from going from 3 GHz all the way up to 4.5. Average frames per second increased all the way up to 133, which is an increase of 4 frames per second. And minimum rise from 59 all the way up to 66, which is an increase of 7. So, a small increase, but not a massive one. Crisis 3 not benefiting a great deal from the increased clock speeds. As you can see it's a very GPU demanding game and as a result we've only seen an increase of 3 frames per second on average and the minimums have increased by 6 frames so a benefit but not a massive one. So what I've learned from my test personally is that if you're someone with a very very high end GPU like a GTX 1080 you're definitely going to benefit from having an overclocked CPU in the ranges of 4 gigahertz and upwards. So if you're pairing this kind of GPU with something like a Xeon with a locked multiplier and with a low clock speed like 3 gigahertz, then you're definitely going to be losing out, especially if you're gaming at 1080p. But again, this isn't a one size fits all test. If you're someone with, uh, say, a more reasonably priced card like an R9 390, or a GTX 970, you may not experience the same um, performance increase that I did from going from 3 gigahertz all the way up to 4.5. So, um, obviously, not a test that's gonna generalize things, but um, for me personally, having an overclocked CPU definitely gives you an increase in performance. And of course, again, it does vary from game to game, 
some games are very CPU dependent like GTA 5 and Battlefield 1 again showing the highest gain so um, an interesting test for myself um, if you buy an overclocked unlocked multiplier CPU then just overclock it if you can free performance is definitely something you shouldn't waste anyway guys that's pretty much it for me hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching